In order to install Joomla, you have two options. The first option is for you to go to joomla.org slash download. This section here always shows you the latest Joomla version. So if you're not sure exactly what the current version is, you know, it's always good for you to go to the download section. And once you get here, you have the option of, you know, downloading this full package here. And by downloading the full package, you can just, you know, install it on your server. The other way that you have is to go to your C panel. If you don't have a C panel, if you have a control panel or something that has Joomla in it or allows you to install Joomla, then you can definitely go there. Uh, in this case, I'm using C panel. So you have your quick install or the Fantastical Deluxe. I normally just go to quick install. Now, this is the other option. This option is so much faster. It allows you to, you know, just couple of clicks and you know Joomla's install is where this version you would have to download it extract the files and then you know upload it back to the server so I'm going to be focusing primarily on the quick install um, and then once you want to do that you just go to to Joomla and you click continue and if you notice here where it says the version the latest version is the 3.36 which is the same one as this and if you're installing Joomla on the root folder of your domain, you don't have to, you know, worry about this top section here. You just leave it blank and you want to make sure you put your email, the site name here. You can always change that, you know, once you've installed it. If you're installing Joomla on a subfolder, then you want to put that folder name here. And the great thing about it is that Joomla is going to take care of the installation, everything for you. So you can just go to that section here. And it's pretty much the same thing here with this. So what I'm going to do now is I've already installed Joomla through this option here. Just, you know, click and everything is installed. The next thing, once you've installed it, is you want to install the JCE component. Now, JCE uh, editor allows you to edit documents, you know, to, to write text and Joomla has a default one called the tiny MCE and other options. So let's go to system and global configurations and we're going to take a look at what they currently have. So when you come here where it says default editor and you click on this drop down. Now I've already installed the JCE editor and I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But these are the other options here. If you don't want one, you just click on none. If you want the tiny MCE, then you click on the tiny MCE. Now there's a big difference between the JCE and the tiny MCE. The JCE has so much more flexibility and I think that it's a lot more user friendly uh, than the tiny MCE is. And the layout, the look for, they're also, you know, different. So if you want to install the JCE, it's so much easier now with the 3.2, from 3.2 version and up, you can install extensions directly on your website. You don't have to, you know, use external to, to get it done. You have that option here as well. But Joomla has done such a fantastic job of allowing you to be able to install everything here. So once you've successfully installed Joomla, this is what the default looks like. Now you have options here. These are all the different extensions that you can install on your website. And here's the JCE editor. What you have to do is you just have to click on it and you click install, install. So the installation is successful. And then if you want to change it, you come back here to the global configurations and you just come where it says default editor. If you're using a default Joomla system, yours should say tiny MCE. So all you have to do is click on the drop down and you can switch over to the JC, JCE. And the JC, as I mentioned before, whenever I'm working on the website, whether it's for myself or for a client, that's one of the first things that, you know, I do to make sure that Joomla has that editor and it's the default one. So once you set that up, now it becomes so much easier for you to be able to, you know, to edit your articles. Let's move on to the next lesson.